Good afternoon. My name is Darcel Sisson, and welcome back to Paseo News. There are a lot of things going on in these going on in Paseo these last few weeks, so here are a few announcements. As some of you may know, last Friday was April 1st, so we went so we sent our very own Darian Braddock to ask questions to students that were a little bizarre. Take a look. Which would you prefer? Have no nose but have a really good smelly fingers or be blind but have a really nice smile? <laughs> um, I, I pick between the two. Um, I would like to have a really nice smile. But, but you want to smell? Oh, I have to. Oh, wait a minute. <laughs> say it again for me. Say it again for me. I was like, which do you prefer? You have no nose but have a really good smelling fingers or be blind but have a really nice smile? No nose. No nose? No nose. So ugly smile. Uh, yes. <laughs> I don't want to smell, but I can take the ugly smell. Okay. Right. Who is right if two left-handed people had an argument? Who? But they're left-handed. Oh. You don't know? No. Like, maybe one. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever peed while sleeping? You can't just admit that. Like, you would just admit it? Yeah, you ain't never pee while you sleeping? No, I never pee while I was sleeping. You ain't never been like four years old before. Yes, I've been four, but I never pee while I was sleeping. That's weird. I ain't had no home training all over. You know what? Like, you know what? Okay. Prom is April 30th and costs 40 per person or 70 for a couple outside of school. The Play Sister Act is now in action starting Friday, April 8th. High school sports may have a return at Paseo. If you're interested in casting a vote into what sports should return, use the QR code here. Next week we have an odd schedule with Friday being a holiday, Monday's normal eight classes schedule will be replaced with the even day class schedules. Next up will be the trusty weather report from our weatherman, Lance Strickland. My name is Lance Strickland. I am here with your weekly news. So today at 1047 a.m., it is a nice 48 degrees. It is very windy today, and, it's, and that's going to be a trend today. Today will be partly cloudy, but tonight will be very cold. Uh, tomorrow, Up next, we take a look with Gavin Ward at our weekly anime recommendations. Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of Anime Recommendations. In this episode, we'll be looking at an anime called Tokyo Revengers. Takamichi Hanagaki's life is in an all-time low. Just when he thought it couldn't get any worse, he finds out that Hinata Tachibana, his ex-girlfriend, was murdered by the Tokyo Manji Gang, a group of vicious criminals that have been disturbing some considered to be a pretty good show. Well, everyone, that will be all for this episode. We hope you enjoyed. Basketball has just finished with Kansas winning it all. Here's a quick recap of the tournament from Anthony Hood. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to Weekly NBA. Well, not really Weekly NBA. We're going to be talking about March Madness. The NCAA's March Madness tournament is currently in full swing. We are down to the final four, which includes number two seeded Villanova Wildcats, where they'll take on the number one seeded Kansas Jayhawks and the number eight seeded UNC, who are scheduled to play the number two seeded Duke Blue Devils. While my UCLA Bruins were knocked out in the Sweet 16 by UNC, I believe that Duke will take it all. They have the potential number one overall pick in Paulo Benchiro. He has been on fire during this whole tournament. With my prediction and the teams that are left are out the way, I think we should talk about St. Peter's. They entered the tournament as the 15th seed as a low budget basketball program from Jersey City, New Jersey. 
They had a wonderful Cinderella story beating the number two seed in Kentucky Wildcats who most people thought would take the whole tournament. Then went on to be another Kentucky team, the number seven seeded Murray State Racers by 10 points. On to the Sweet 16 where they fought out and beat the number three seeded Purdue. Their wonderful and unforgettable Cinderella story came to an end where they were dropped by UNC who crushed them with a 20 point deficit. Personally, I was rooting for St. Peter's during this game because UNC took out my UCLA Bruins, but it is what it is. Thank you for watching, I'll see y'all next week. My name is Darcel Sisson and this has been Paseo News.